family of God, praise the Lord. How are you? Here we have something to celebrate God during this time. We are called to celebrate at all times. We can extol Him when we are happy, when we are sad, or the way things are on the earth. So we should come together united in God and celebrate Him irrespective of whatever. So right now we have this topic, uh, let us bow our head and worship God at this time. Hope everyone is doing well. If there's anything, we can always present it to God and commit everything we have into the hands of God. So let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we praise Thee, Lord. We praise Thee. We bless Thee. We give You all the glory, honor, and praise. We bless Thee. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God in the highest. Let us pray now. God bless you and praise God as well again. And shalom and have peace of God, Heavenly Father. We are gathering here at the moment, Lord, praying and worshiping you. Let us, Lord, worship and come together in your presence. Oh, Father God, I pray that you manifest and uh, in your power, Lord, Lord, to bring upon your people, to comfort them. Manifest this holiness in them, Lord, that is upon you. Bring it unto them. Come down, Lord. Bring your presence into all of us as we now spend some time with you and your word. Extolling the Lord is to praise Him enthusiastically. So praise Him, extol with all that you have. Bless Him. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless Lord, bless them as well to be strong as they believe and trust and have, have faith in you, Lord, and your word. Father God, if anyone there, Heavenly Father, who are not saved yet, May they be saved and come into your presence. I pray, Lord, that you be with all of us. In Jesus' mighty name, praise your Heavenly Father. Bring your presence. If you're doing something else that's distracting you, bring your attention into the Word of God at this time. Let all your fears and anxieties come and let, let's forget all that at the moment. And then give it to Him and come into His presence. So we can be as faithful as he is to him during this time. If you are sick, commit it to God. If you have loved ones who are sick and need help in any areas, health, diseases, or they have financial issues, jobs, any, any kind, everything, we commit right now. All your concerns, commit and cares unto God right now as we proceed with reading his words, humbling down. Let us not be distracted, but draw our attention to God, seeking his love and faithfulness. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and ask. Amen and amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let us now have a look at what celebrate means. Celebrate is to honor or praise God publicly. So we celebrate God publicly, we honor Him, we rejoice in Him, we extol Him, we tell everyone, it is not something you hide it, you just rejoice, lift up your hands and we praise God. We give Him all due respect, honor is to respect Him, celebrate God is to honor or praise Him publicly, Amen. I hope you are wonderfully having some time as we enter into his word right now. Let us honor and understand what celebrate means and continue in his reverence and presence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Almighty God, Elohim, the great I am. Here we are celebrating you, Lord, honoring you, Lord, lifting your name on high. So here we have even everyone that is called by my name, for I have created him 
for my glory, saith the Lord. So he has created all of us for God's glory. So his glory is so magnificent. He just draws his love closer to us, you know, to be in his glory and his presence. So that's exactly why he created us. Even everyone that is called by my name, ask yourself, are you called by God's name? Are you a child of God? Have you received him as your savior? That he is your father? that he forgave your sin, that he died and rose again. Yes, this year is the worst talking to Israel. But you Gentiles ask, are we also called by his name through our Lord Jesus Christ? For I have created him, he says. So he has created us for his glory. How amazing is that to know that God has created us for his glory. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. Every soul, everyone in this world, this is not just for those who believe. It is for everyone. The word of God is for everyone. He created us all for his glory. Each and every one, irrespective of color, caste, creed, there's nothing different in God. Let every soul, it comprises of every soul, be subject unto the high powers, for there is no power but of God. So there are so many powers on this earth. So that's exactly the scripture acknowledging that there are powers on this earth, but there is no power. You know, be happy to know there is no power that is above God. Only God's power is the highest. Amen. Praise the Lord and hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your wonderful salvation and to let us know that your power is the highest of all the earth. So nothing to fear for us, right? Praise God. So how do we honor him? By loving him with everything we got, right? With our hearts, with our mind, with our thoughts, with our soul, with all our strength that we have, isn't it? That is how we love the Lord. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and might. Amen. How beautiful is that, that we praise God with all our might, with our, all our soul. We love him with everything we got. He is so beautiful and lovely. I hope none is there who doesn't, you know, there's nothing to disagree here, right? He's so wonderful. So worship God with all your soul. Give it to him. You know, put your love upon him. He is so, so good. His steadfast love. We we can't balance or we can't give so much that he gives to us, but we can present all of our soul to him, right? We, though we try, try to do the best we can for him to be like him, we still have shortfalls and weaknesses. But with our sincerity, with our sincere heart, let us love God with everything we got. Just give it to him. Even your weaknesses, even your fears, your cares, your troubles, anything that's happening, the kind of uh, things that is troubling you at this time, everything that you are confined into a space, we cannot go out or we have if we go out as well there are so many fears going on let us come put all that in front of God just let us love him anyhow just love him with all that you have with all the strength you got amen the Lord says uh, what does he say here uh, to honor him for those who honor me i will honor see we talk about celebrate is to honor or praise you see here so we honor him and we will be honored by him amen how beautiful is that that god wants to honor you and i you and i are we worthy you see he's making us worthy to be like him he is telling us that we can be honored by him hallelujah praise the lord and those who despise me 
will be disdained those who despise me those who can you know despise or those who reject you know how bad is that and those who despise me will be disdained 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 is to reject or to refuse so they land up in rejection if they despise them let us not be like that let us honor god irrespective of our our morning times or happy times let us rejoice in him all the earth should be rejoicing him whether good times or bad times we must uplift him amen praise god so flee fornication in corinthians it says every sin that a man do does is without the body right but he that commits fornication he sinning against his own body so what no e not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost so this is the background of what the scripture in 620 says yeah so he god is telling your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you right which you have of god and you are not on your own so we are not on our own we have our bodies that is the temple of the holy spirit that resides in us amen so we must be glorifying god in our bodies the holy spirit in us will bring us into glorifying the lord in our bodies for he we are bought with a price you see god gave his son only begotten son there's a price that god has paid for you and i so we must glorify god in our body which is his temple where he lives and in your spirit so you see your the along with the holy spirit in your own spirit rejoice in the lord glorify him because you are bought with a price it belongs to god see which are god's so our body our soul everything belongs to god he has paid a huge price to have us see whether we eat whether we drink whatever we do why should we be doing all for the glory of god that's the only reason we should be doing it's for all the glory of god his purpose his will in our lives we are not on our own right whatever shortfalls come it's not just just like that happen but we need to glorify god at all times irrespective of what circumstances that just cr- comes come crumbling down all the great things happens a different season at different times we just have to trust god and stay in his shelter in his blood protected shielded whether you eat or drink just rejoice for god just rejoice in your body whatever you do you do whatever you think whatever you meditate on his word just rejoice in him tell him praise god be happy when paul was in the prison he just came out why he was singing and praying and singing hymns unto god and worshiping in the in the night throughout the night so give the best of what you have unto god everything else will be added to you like Paul's prison just got opened up isn't it the angels come as he was singing and rejoicing all the chains were broken apart so let us do whatever we do we do to glorify God in our bodies the temple of the living God so honor the Lord with the substance and with the first fruits he says of all thine increase Amen. See, we need to honor God with everything we have, our substance, whatever at the time they were offering. Today it could be anything. It could be your time. It could be not necessarily material things. Even if we give something to our neighbors, it's also like it's been given to God. So whatever you do, you do honoring the Lord, whether it is material or whether it is just your time or thinking about him, worshiping him. do whatever you do for god everything whether it's your business whether it's your studies anything for that matter you even cleaning like you are doing cooking you are in the kitchen or you are doing a work outside like whether you are plumbing whether you are an electrician 
or whether you are sitting on a computer like me as a software engineer or any professions you have do whatever you have you are doing or you are at the coffee shop or you're serving people anything at the time just honor god put on some music put on something of the lord worship him and uh, give your best that you have for god it's not always only the finances and things it's also lots of other things our time our precious time our loved ones committing our loved ones to god keeping our mind healthy renewing our mind in him that's very important isn't it praise god let us give all that we have in truth and faithfulness let us give it unto him amen Praise the Lord hallelujah thank you Jesus for this wonderful time we must be thanking him always our heavenly father god of all the earth let us rejoice honor and praise him celebrate we saw was to honor and praise god right publicly isn't it so let us see uh, shining the light in the darkness so that's part of it isn't it so let's shine the light of god in this dark time important time that we need to spend time with god is this time this time when when things you seem to look everything dark around us uh, there's no hope it looks like there's just no hope but we have hope our author and finisher of faith right so it's our christ jesus uh, it's our lord and savior our heavenly father Father, Elohim, the great I am, Yahweh. Jesus said, "Before Abraham was, I am." Isn't it? So, shining the light in the dark areas, also within us, around us, to our neighbors, to the place we live, to the cities and nations and tongues and people, everywhere. Just be nice, anyhow. Don't be hurt. Just if somebody has hurt you. forgive them anyhow let the darkness flee anyhow let light shine in your mind light of christ shine in your mind in your hearts just bring light of christ in you let all the dead things of whatever makes you unhappy just put those things aside and bring honor and praise to god because his sanctuary is a holy place right a temple that's us that's our bodies let us keep it faithful and honorable to god as we present our bodies see this is also an offering we give to god our body you know presenting our body you know clean and holy that honorable so he can dwell in us the holy spirit praise the lord see the word says praise ye the lord praise god in his sanctuary So our body is a sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament, in the heavens. See, in this in this area above the earth is the firmament of God. Praise Him above all the earth. Praise everything on the earth, above the earth, beneath the earth. Everything should be praising Him in His sanctuary. So, what is a sanctuary? Your body, right? Your body is His. sanctuary at this time i will extol the lord at all times see enthusiastically praising him extolling the lord when any time all the time happy sad someone is no more today morning i heard someone had passed away you know what we thank god for every soul on the earth now we pray that god receives them may god's peace be upon such souls there's so many deaths happening around the world we pray and we believe that the lord receives them that somebody there around to bring the message of god to them so their heart is received before there is no more time so if nothing is nothing is confirmed on this earth right that we can't just say yes i will live so long or we can't just say anything can happen any time so praise the lord anyhow whatever have the time today we have that is the time the lord has bestowed us the loved ones around us let there not be any discrepancies any anything that makes you unhappy you haven't called your parents for a long time call them anyhow parents have not spoken to the children for a long time 
speak to them anyhow just speak to them accept and receive them see this is these are the ways when we correct and bring everything together in unity then we keep ourselves holy and then we extol the lord how wonderful it is when we forgive one another and come in his presence his praise will always be upon my lips declare it lord my praises will always be upon my lips for you for you lord give him tell him i will glory in the lord see we need to glory in the lord let the afflicted she's not just the ones happy that's glorying let the afflicted hear someone who is distressed please hear you know something has happened that's okay just hear the lord don't become disappointed you don't need to be disappointed in god if something has happened commit to him extol him glorify the lord and rejoice what did job say so the lord gave the lord has taken away blessed be the name of the lord most high see this is how our attitude should be to so check your attitude check our attitude check our inner beings glorify the lord within me you see are you glorifying the lord at all times are we celebrating him not just the birthday celebration here there how about celebrating him his name his wonderful name not once a year during christmas or easter how about all the days of your life at all times during this time the hard times that we are facing in this earth what about at that time you shine his light inside you glorifying the lord let us exalt his name together amen praise god what a wonderful verse and what a wonderful words of god we have here let us worship him let us rejoice him and as we continue it says oh come let us sing unto the lord so exalting him not just that you singing you sing unto the lord but those who have this gift just go ahead and sing even if you're not singing well sing anyhow unto him in your closet in your heart having a grateful heart telling the lord oh bless the lord we love you lord i love you tell him you love him to turn your morning into gladness in the lord you know there is a verse in the bible right he turns our morning into rejoiceful times make it joyful let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation wow he is our rock of our salvation such a, a a solid a solid trust that we can have in him there's nothing to be ashamed of in him all the shame and all that thing of this earth the past all the griefs all the difficulties all the bad things we had done or said you know if we have not controlled our tongue anything all that give it to god give it to god and sing unto the lord all the earth let us make a joyful noise you know we make a joyful noise make a noise unto the rock of our salvation hosanna you know i remember this song blessed be the name of the rock you know blessed be the name of the rock of my salvation i remember those are the first days when i got saved in, uh, in the assemblies of god church and i how i used to rejoice in him amen i used to long your first love for god remember don't forget his first love remember that time that you knew him how how happy and how joyful you would go and speak about him to everyone remember those time he is the rock of ages right amen amen and amen praise god hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah when do you honor and praise and celebrate him publicly see when we were afflicted as well when we were we are joyful as well when we are have been merry and happy you know every time when we are crying when something bad is happening to our loved ones or something else happening in this world whatever it is be joyful in the lord always always the bible says always irrespective of what happens 
we have seasons for everything like i said seasons to mourn seasons to rejoice seasons to give season to take we praise him at all time so is any among you afflicted let him pray see are you afflicted pray about it just calm you don't know how to pray just sit in his presence close your eyes the lord i don't know how to pray say it anyhow like you will tell your mother or your father or your siblings or your friends whoever you feel dearest to who will you tell him is any among you afflicted let him pray is any merry let him sing songs so if you and if you are sad sit and pray even if you are happy then go and sing psalms what are you what does your heart say either way extol the lord worship him tell him you love him declare your love to him seek his refuge stay in his protection don't go out don't do anything which which will hurt your relationship with god don't cost your relationship with god his love for you is so much he has paid a price to have you to have each one of us he has paid a heavy price not unto us o lord not unto us but unto thy name give glory for thy mercy how amazing is his mercy how amazing is his glory see it's not for us the lord it's not for us the glory and whatever the best things you have done it's you lord it's you he is the one you should be pointing to without him without his sacrifice we wouldn't be here at this time the world is the way it is we wouldn't be you know having that comfort of him within us having the trust worthy that all things are safe even death where is thy sting because jesus rose again he defeated death so we see we need it's not about us it's about him he is the one who is worthy of all the praise in the book of revelation you can see that it talks about it it says how lord how is it that is worthy to even look at that book only john was saying there's just nobody only the lamb was able to open the book right so you can have a look it is only the lamb of god who is worthy for all things the heavenly father has bestowed so much love upon christ that all things of god in christ is poured into christ and all things of christ is poured into us so we can be united with god almighty god why for god's truth sake see his truth is amazing because he is truthful his spirit of truth his holy spirit is truthful he cannot lie and for that sake he is worthy so everything all the honor and glory belongs to him so who is this king of glory who is this the lord strong and mighty he is the lord who is mighty and who is strong amen amen praise god how amazing we feel when during this time when he is reverently there he's listening to our voices if only we could take time and listen to him stay focused on him don't get distracted glorifying him let us celebrate during this time of darkness let us bring light into this dark world let us bring light to every soul let us shine forth let us rejoice in the lord putting forth all our strength and might upon praising him and worshiping him and rejoicing him and dissolving all this worries and sadness in him his love his love the blood that he shed all the sinful stains are gone inside it disappear inside it making us white as snow amen glorify the lord in your bodies again the lord says glorify him his name is wonderful jesus christ our lord amen hallelujah thank you jesus thank you almighty god let's continue let's see the lord the mighty in battle amen he is a mighty god elohim who is mighty in battle 
so he is the one who is strong and he is the king of glory hallelujah amen praise the lord so we have this mighty god elohim he is mighty in battle so why are you afraid and distress and anguish place your burdens upon christ the rock of your salvation amen glory to god the lord mighty in battle therefore here the next following verse that we have chosen from samuel therefore i will give thanks unto thee o lord glory give thanks to him at this time you know there's one sister who said she is fasting why just to thank god you know thanking god for the lovely things he has done in in their lives so thanksgiving give thanks to god all the time whether you fast you pray at this time is a beautiful time to fast you can do a daniel fast you can skip something that you really love at this time keep it any number of days doesn't matter god sees what he wants from wants to do with you and he knows he loves you he cares for you amen So trust God and thank God anyhow. Don't be distressed. Don't be upset. So where among those who don't believe? It says among the heathen. And I will sing praises unto thy name. So sing unto him. Tell 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 everyone, irrespective of whether they believe or not, that he is worthy of all your praises. Right unto him. Thank him. Thank God in in front of others who don't believe. They will be happy to know your God. At some time, maybe you will touch them with this love that you have for God, isn't it? So let us praise our God and thank His holy name. Take time to pray and fast. I try to uh, fast during this time as well. Like just be doing a Daniel fast at this time. Just give up something so you can draw yourself closer to God. So it helps. So I like to choose forty uh, days um, as far as possible. You know, another sister, a friend, uh, she's doing it for. Uh, she said she started one day and then she added few more days. So you can go as as God leads you and puts in your heart, isn't it? So it will comfort you as you draw closer to God. So some things Jesus also has mentioned that some things don't go if we don't fast. You know, it can go, and you can move forward with God uh, if there are some blockages. So with also fasting and praying, which draws us more closer to Him, it helps us to rejoice and focus on the right things of God instead of getting distracted with all the trouble news around, isn't it? So and Jesus now hear what he does. So we need to know why we should be praising him. I would say place all your circumstances before him. He is saying, you know, all things are possible for him. He can recover you from any situations, any darkness. Doesn't matter. You see here, Jesus says, uh, Jesus looking upon them says, with men it is impossible. but not with god so with god everything is possible hallelujah so give god the glory and honor and praise you can look upon him and say lord i love you you know lord i praise you with the people around maybe they are giving you negative negative results maybe doctor is saying negatively or maybe you're trying to find a job and you can't get into it or you know you had some hope and that is not getting achieved whatever is your circumstances maybe for your children or your grandparents or for your parents or any of your loved ones or or any of your brethren the brothers and sisters anybody struggling you are trying to help so but nothing is happening so you are losing faith no we with god is saying here with god all things are possible see this is what this is jesus own proclamation that he says with god all things are possible so only our flesh can fail but god you know he doesn't fail us right so bless be the lord my strength which teaches my hands to war and my fingers to fight exactly there's so much of persecution or so much of struggles the spiritual battles we are in this does not necessarily like the war at the time when david had but we have our own spiritual battles at this time the things that we face 
the mental illness. There's so much of mental illness among the youngsters, the teenagers, and all the things going on around. There's so much war within ourselves regarding so many things. So the Lord helps us to Oh, you know, he is the one who helps us in the battles and all the fights and to help us to which direction we must go. He's the one who goes ahead of us as well. So we must, you know, put all our cares upon him, give it to him. He takes and he loads himself with your burden, burdens, because his burdens are light and he can handle that for you. Amen. He is the inhabitant of all praises, both Jew and Gentile alike. He is the one inhabitant of all our praises. Amen. Say that. But thou art holy, O Lord. Thou, Lord, inhabitant means enthroned. He's enthroned on the praises of Israel, it says here. But we Gentiles we all outside of Israel also, we praise our God because he has extended his blessings to all the earth, to all the seeds of Abraham, to the ends of the earth. He has called all of us. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, most high. Rejoice in him. Extol the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain. Amen. For the Lord our God is holy. So you see why? Because he is holy. We should worship him at his holy mountain. Oh my God, oh Lord, our almighty God, extol him with all your enthusiasm. Worship him, love him, give him everything that you hold dearest to you. Give the best of you to him because the Lord our God, he is holy. Hallelujah. How many of us agree to that? How many of us agree that we must rejoice and praise him? If you do, write something in the comment section and praise him just to record your witness of what you felt at this time tell him because he is holy he is holy let them praise your great and awesome name he is holy see we need to praise his great and awesome name Elohim El Shaddai Yahweh oh hallelujah Lord Jesus Christ the spirit of the living God. He is holy. He is holy. We need to praise his great and awesome name. You see, in the book of Revelation, his name is written in his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. See, he is the word of God, in other words, says about Jesus. He talks about it. No, because all of the Father is given to Christ, and all of Christ is given to you. Hallelujah. So he is your praise. How many of you want to praise God at this time and just love him with all your heart? I am just on literal fire anointing of God. Within me is all that is burning now, if you know, in that love of God, in his glory, just to rejoice him. You know, he is awesome. He is great. He is worthy. And he is your God. He is not just my God. He is your God. Each one of you in this earth, whichever generation we belong to, whichever times on this earth we are born, He is our God who has done for us, for you, these great and awesome wonders that your eyes have seen. See, we most of them have seen. Today we see it in His anointing. And we have faith in him and we know what it is ahead of us. Even God has said, no one knows what God has done for us, you know, for those who believe him, what he has stored on the other side. You know, there's so much more that, that are unseen that we are yet to see as well in eternity. His love for us. So whatever things that you are seeing here, the sickness, the diseases he has healed, the power he has bestowed upon you, your children. He said that his power, that that we will do great and wonderful things than he had done at the time because he was yet to die at the time but after he died and rose again he broke that and he broke that death sting and then he got into victory anything Paul said anything that even things bite 
take the snake venom, uh, you get bitten. It, you know, we can just overcome anything because his power is in us. Not that I'm saying you get bitten by it. We just trust God. God says, do not be afraid of any of those things. Uh, just be afraid of the one who can destroy the soul. If it is in your heart, pray about it. If it's not, just, just do all the precautions as necessary so you don't get uh, affected or your loved ones or you don't affect other people, you know. So this way, so there is nothing to fear. He is your God. He is the great and awesome God, the great I am. So that nothing on this earth would have ever known. You no, know, all that we have seen about him, all that, you know, glorious things he has done on this earth. He is victorious. Don't you believe he is victorious? Why? For you and I and all our loved ones. Trust the Lord for your loved ones, for their salvations. Commit them to God. What are you worried about, saints of God? Do not be worried. He is the one. Rejoice and extol him. Praise him with all your heart. Worship him. Sing psalms. Sing psalms and sing wonderful praises. Write a new song to him. Whatever skills, good skills you have, bestow it to him. He has raised up a horn for his people. Amen. Glorious God, the praise of all his saints of Israel. So we must honor his people, Israel, at the time. And now all the earth, you know, he has raised up a horn for his people and praise all his saints of Israel and to all of us. We are the children of Abraham in a spiritual way and in that extended way of Jesus Christ because he has died and rose again for us all. Praise him as he has raised up this horn for us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, claim it. Proclaim your victory in God. The trumpet of God as it sounds. The dead in Christ shall rise first. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him. Trust him. Trust and obey. Just there is just no other way. In Jesus, trust and obey. What a beautiful song is that. That was written. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Bless his holy name. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Every Bible verse is so beautiful. You know, we are a people near to him. Though all the Psalms is referring to do with the Jewish, uh, you know, um, the group of people God has chosen at that time, it is to given to all of us, a people near to him. Are you near to God? Hallelujah. See, you know, you, we need to draw closer to him. That's the idea. You know, we need to praise him. All his saints Aren't you his saints called to be holy and righteous according to him? Because he is righteous. He called us to be righteous. He is all holy. He called us to be holy. O oh, all saints of the earth. O oh, all saints of Israel. Even if they don't know today, all those who have chosen will already will know at the time when he reveals himself to them. Glory. Hallelujah. So are, are you near to God? So, you know, he says, I, I know to those people who are his saints, uh, who are near to him. Are you near to him? Are you his saint? Ask yourself, uh, pure and holy, seeking to be as righteous as him. Yes. So are you near to God? Are you his saint? Ask yourself, uh, be pure and holy, seeking to be as righteous as him, right? We need to be pure and holy, seeking to be as righteous as our God. We are called to be holy. We are called to be righteous like him, right? Do you love to seek his face or not? We love to seek his face. I love to seek his face and praise him. Amen. Let's praise him and seek his face. Draw near to him and, you know, declare his glory, declare his might. Come, draw close to God as he draws close to you, right? He draws close to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, most high. Abba, Father, he's your Abba. He's your Father. Hallelujah. 
So blessings and honor and glory be thine and glory be thine both now and forevermore. Hallelujah. This is actually a song, a hymn, olden days hymn, blessings and honor and glory be thine and glory be thine. Be now, you know, forevermore, both now and forevermore. See, praise him. Praise him, all ye saints. Adore him. Praise him. Praise him both now and forevermore. So praise him, praise him, all ye saints. Adore him, praise him, and praise him both now and forevermore. How beautiful is that? So celebrate God, honor God, praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Call him your Abba, call him your Father. There is nothing certain in this world, right? But our Almighty God, what are the hopes we have? Only Him. We saw there is no other power but God's power, which is above everything. You know, who is the same? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do you know that those who are buried in the dust, some will rise to everlasting life, whereas others to everlasting condemnation? We do not want to be condemned. We are not. In Christ, there is no condemnation. So let us receive receive him. Let us say, Lord, forgive my sins. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I honor you. I love you. I trust you. I bring everything I have to you, Lord. Every substance I have, I give it to you for your praises. My time, my strength, my heart, my soul, my loved ones, my concerns, my mental agonies. If I have the distress, the thoughts that come in the early morning, which is not not fruitful. You are fruitful, saith the Lord. You are honorable, saith the Lord. You are worthy, saith the Lord. You are holy, saith the Lord. Do we want to be on the opposite side of everlasting, you know, which is a place of no return. Everlasting is a place of no return. With pure love, and not of condemnation. We need to be in that spot where he has received us with an everlasting love, not by everlasting condemnation, with an everlasting life to live with him forever and ever, not an everlasting death which will continue. You know, we don't want to do that, which is a place of no return. We don't want that, but we want a place of life, eternal life. Lord Almighty, give us a place of eternal life, full of pure love and acceptance of you, Lord, on the other side, which is beautiful, which is heavenly, Lord, which is divine, divine destiny, Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise you to have your own encounter with God. Won't you want all these? Won't you want to have an encounter with God? If you have not, seek his baptism of the Holy Spirit. If you have not been water baptized, baptize in the water baptism. Acts 2.38 says, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit says the verse. So choose life. What will you choose? There's life and death. Their life is Jesus Christ. Death is not of God. You know, he gave us life to Jesus Christ. There is no fear of death in Jesus Christ. Do you agree? There is just no, because he rose again. There is the on and only assurance. There's no one who has conquered death but Christ. There is an assurance if you believe Jesus. He died and rose again. You will be saved. Don't you? Do you believe? Believe him anyhow. Just believe him. Put your negative thoughts aside. Put all the questions you have aside. Just believe him. Do you want to believe? Lord, help our unbelief. Pray to him, Lord, if you are struggling with unbelief. Lord, help my struggle in unbelief. I want to believe you and I believe you. Draw me closer to you. Draw closer to God, friend. Draw closer to him. Draw closer to your almighty God. He's your strength. He's your fortress. He's the rock of our salvation. Give more, Lord. You bring more clarities, Lord, to the people, to the to the people who are ruling the earth, who are in the government places. Give them more wisdom, Lord, on the virus and the vaccines, whether to take, not to take. Lord, you are there death and fighting for life here in this earth, Lord. All of the people struggling and striving and distressed. 
come out, Lord. There are more who don't want to take. Lord, bring a, a unity among people. Lord, bring a peace among people. Lord, give us the 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 things that are not fearful, Lord. Those who does not have to take it, Lord. Bring some medicines, Lord. Bring some cure for this, uh, Lord. Just re- banish these mutations, Lord. Just let it disappear, Lord. We command all these evil spirit that working on these mutations, uh, Lord. Let it all disappear right now. The fear of death disappear. The light of Christ shine on all of us. Uh, there is no condemnation in Christ. Uh, there is no death. Nor nothing can separate us. From the love of God, yes, Lord, we honor you, we praise you, we bless your holy name. You are the God we love. Now unto the eternal King, immortal, He is an invisible, immortal God, the only wise God. We honor glory forever and ever. We praise you, Lord, trusting God for our glorious days now and ahead. Don't you trust Him? Trust Him with all your might for our glorious days ahead. Even now, during this time of struggle, Your glory, His presence in the heavenlies, that You are spending time with Him. A new beginning. We pray for a new beginning, Lord. A new breakthrough, Lord. Come, Lord. Come and bring a breakthrough. Let us rejoice. The beginning, a new beginning. Amen and amen and amen. A new beginning for this entire world in the light of Christ, in the bright light of Christ of His coming. See you, Lord, Heavenly Father, that you ride your mighty horse, Heavenly Father. The power of the resurrection, Lord, drawing us, Lord, drawing us, Lord, and rapturing us into your quickening spirit. Rapture us into your quickening. Spirit, we ask and we command every evil spirit to have no authorities on God's people on this earth. No thing can harm us. No, nothing, absolutely nothing can harm us. Nothing, Lord. No virus, no diseases. Nothing can harm us. But your love and kindness and mercies, we give you all the glory, honor, and you no know, praises. We give you all the extolation. We extol you, Lord. We extol you above all the earth. In Jesus' mighty name. See you again, family of God. In Jesus' name. Saints of God, be blessed. Be rejoicing in the Lord. Irrespective of what happens, be thankful to God. He is the worthy one. God bless you and your loved ones. Oh, saints of God, love you always. I will be praying for each of you. And may you all remember me also in prayers. As the Lord leads us. Onto the other side in his worship and praises as we rejoice in him. Stay faithful to him. Let us see you as we meet again in Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you and praise the Lord, friends, and bye bye for now. Take care. Hallelujah. And thank you, Heavenly Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Thank you, Lord.